Hey, what's up, guys? So today I'm gonna do the anything but books tag. This was not the tag that I was originally planning on filming today, so yeah, we're gonna do it anyways because the one that I was planning on filming today was the can't say I didn't try tag, and I don't like being controversial, so yeah. We're gonna do the anything but books tag instead. So I saw this video down on Murphy Napier's channel and by recently I mean this morning so it's really really fresh there. But this tag was originally created about four years ago by Reader Rot. I will link that original video down below as well as Murphy's video so you can check those out wherever you want to. But I'm just going to get into the questions. So the first tune is name a cartoon that you love and my favorite cartoon of all time is Teen Titans, the original one. Like this was a show that I grew up with and I loved it and Raven was my character. Those moments where she had like the strongest episodes were my favorite. The one where like her dad came and like destroyed the world was fantastic. I just I loved it and I loved Raven. I dressed up as her one time before Halloween and it was super fun. That show was just so great. The characters they are so strong and it's such a fun children's series that is also very deep and layered and so I think that it's just a great show and I highly recommend it if you haven't ever seen it. What is your favorite song right now? And this is probably gonna have to be Alien by Oliver Hurt. I've just been kind of obsessed with Oliver Hurt's album that is out called something along the lines of something. Yeah, that's totally an album title. Let's see, his album is Ugly is Beautiful, that's what it is. I've just been really obsessed with it lately. It is a pretty recent album that came out. It came out in 2020, I don't know when in 2020, but I just really like Oliver Tree and his his music, and I am a huge like alternative music person. Hayley Williams also recently came out with an album, so I've been listening to that on repeat too. So the third question is, what could you do for hours that isn't reading and watching YouTube? I watch an absurd amount of YouTube. It really is is a thing that I do, and I'm not talking like like booktube videos. Like like I do watch an absurd amount of booktube videos, but like. I watch an absurd amount of like debunking Mormonism videos. Like that has become like my recent thing. I just think that it's so interesting to kind of delve into how people believe in the things that they believe in because like it doesn't make sense to me. Like I grew up Lutheran Christian and so like understanding other people's belief systems is just so interesting because like I've grown up never really knowing another belief system and so I just it, it's just been so interesting to me lately. So the fourth question is what is something you love to do that your followers would be surprised by? I really love to play with my cat, but that's not surprising. So I really like to kind of just like dance around my room occasionally. I'll do this like whenever I need like a break from reading, whenever I've been reading for a while, I'll like get up, put my earphones in and just dance around a little bit in my room by myself, like a normal person. I have like my own little mini dance party just to kind of get on my feet and move around and have like essentially a way to like move and think rather than like sit and think. I don't know. It's weird. I'm weird. It's fine. We all do weird things, but that's kind of my thing and I do like to do it. It does help me kind of relax and like space out for a little bit and just kind of get a little bit of space from whatever problems I may be dealing with or like maybe what's going on in the book. It's like really stressful. Like it just gives me a chance to kind of separate from that and like just be in my own head space for a little bit. Okay, so number five is what is your favorite unnecessarily specific thing to learn about? And unnecessarily specific thing that I like to learn about is I've been really interested in trying to like relearn Spanish lately. So I took like up to AP Spanish in high school. So I was able to get like Spanish credit in college, which is cool and great, but I don't feel like I've learned enough to really feel comfortable actually speaking the language. And I do want to get back into that so that I can start trying to kind of diversify my reading a little bit and like read outside of just what's written in English or what has been translated to English. So I would love to re kind of learn Spanish so that I can start reading things in Spanish a little bit more so that I can get like different cultural perspectives. And then on top of that, I watch a lot of television and I'm just getting really bored with some of the American stuff that I've been watching. Watching, and so I want to try to find some like Spanish TV shows that I can watch to kind of help me with my language skills and I also think that it's really important to try to be accommodating in those ways and like develop your language skills and not just like rely on the fact that you speak English like try and learn another language like whatever it is just so that you can kind of converse with more people and you can be more accessible because this world is so diverse and there are so many different people in it and we don't all speak the same language and it's really cool to kind of learn how in languages have 
how having the ability to express yourself with certain words is actually very beneficial for people. And so learning how to speak different languages also teaches you how to kind of process your thoughts differently and how to like give different aspects of yourselves different words so that you kind of understand yourself on a deeper level than just what English allows you to express. So I'm just trying to work on my Spanish right now. That was kind of a little bit deep. I am sorry about that if you didn't really want the deepness today, but sometimes I just feel that way. So anyways, trying to relearn some of that Spanish that I feel like I've lost over the past few years, not practicing my Spanish, so that I can start trying to read in Spanish a little bit and get a deeper understanding for the world around me. Oh, and also I live in America, so learning Spanish is like learning the language of your next door neighbor because, you know, Mexico is like right there and like we need to be more accommodating to that population in America, just my personal opinion, but you know. So number six is what is something unusual that you know how to do? I know how to knit. I love knitting. It is a great way to kind of also space out like the dancing. Like I really like to just like knit and turn on like a stupid TV show or something and then I can just kind of watch it and zone out and de-stress. And again, it's just something where you get to kind of like move a little bit and have a little bit of your, your blood pumping. I mean, it's not quite as much as like getting up and physically like spinning around your room, but it does help you to kind of move and focus your thoughts kind of on just like simple movements rather than on like all of the complex issues that are going on in the world because that gets kind of stressful sometimes. <laughs> I also know how to crochet, but I prefer knitting. So name something you made in the last year and show us if you can. Just said the whole knitting thing, so I probably should find something that I knit, but I, I'm really bad at like completing projects. I'm really good at starting them. So if you want to see, I've got like squares that I knit for making a blanket somewhere around my room. But what is something else that I could show you instead? Okay, I guess I can show you this. It is an audio amplifier that I technically made for a class, so it's not like it's it's super cool because I did just follow instructions to make it, but it is something that I made and soldered together and, you know, ordered the printed circuit board myself. Like this, this PCB I made myself. I mean, I had to order it. Okay, so this PCB, I like, I made the layout and like the schematic myself and then I ordered it and they made it, but like I made it. You know what I mean? I hope you do because anyways I did that last year for a class which was pretty cool but also really stressful because we had to order the PCBs like really quickly so that we could actually like do the whole lab and so it essentially required you to do pretty much like 90% of the complicated part of the lab in one week rather than over the course of like a semester so it was kind of stressful because I literally spent like 10 hours just working on the schematic layout for that so yeah <laughs> So number eight is what is your most recent personal project? So I don't have a lot of personal projects going on right now outside of school and this. I mean, school isn't really a personal project. Like in school right now, I've got this class called Senior Design, which is essentially like a personal project, but with like a group. And so we were just kind of working on a project. And so like, rather than try and work on something else that is a little bit more creative, I'm trying to focus my efforts on that right now so that we can kind of get our project moving Moving there because that's for a class and that's like for me to graduate like I need that class in order to graduate so I'm trying to I'm trying to focus my efforts a little bit right now rather than have them be everywhere so number nine is tell us something that you think about often I think about my cat often I did just steal that answer from someone else who's done this tag before because I'm reading these questions off of a blog so I stole that answer a little bit from my book lovers playlist so another link down below but anyways something that I think about often outside of my cat is reading obviously because I read a lot but also food and like what food I want to eat because I'm in college and so making food is hard because I'm so pressed for time all the time I don't understand how people like have a job and are like able to shop for themselves at the same time because like I can barely like do school and like shop for myself at the same time you know like I am not good at this whole adulting thing I'm working on it I feel like I'm getting better but I'm not quite where I want to be with it so I'm trying to work on getting better at like making meals for myself and not just going out to eat for every meal because I that that's really bad for like people's bodies and like I know that I feel better if I make like fresher food rather than like go to Chick-fil-A and eat food from Chick-fil-A. Okay, number 10 is give us something that is your favorite. And so my favorite is mashed potatoes. I love them. They are me. I eat them. 
they don't eat me. It's a great system I have with mashed potatoes. I literally love mashed potatoes so much. One of the, my favorite things to make as a freshman in college was instant mashed potatoes because they're so easy to make. You just heat up water and then you mix in the mashed potatoes and it tastes perfect and I still make them to this day. But I also like fresh mashed potatoes with like a lot of butter because I am a terrible person when it comes to like taking care of my body. I need to work on it, I know. But I love mashed potatoes. I eat them a lot. My uncle once told me that for my 40th birthday, he's gonna buy me a bag of potatoes because at 40, I'm still going to love potatoes just as much. And I had a nickname, which was the potato monster as a kid by the same uncle. So yeah, I like potatoes. <laughs> so number 11 is say the first thing that pops into your head, head. I guess, I don't know, that's all, <laughs> I don't like that one. It feels weird. So anyways, that was the anything but books tag. Links for stuff down below, the original creator, Murphy, and then the blog that I mentioned. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, all of that jazz. Comment down below your answers to some of these things. What is the first word that pops into your head? I will see you in my next video, which I post on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Bye!